the boys of summer are back as the Major League Baseball season 2019 is ready for first pitch on Thursday, March 28th. And guys, welcome back to another Z Code System video where today we're going to talk about the Major League Baseball season and uh, preview a few things that is going to go on with the coming year. Now, of course, you guys can go over to the Z Code System blog and check out the sports predictions and picks there. And as you can see, there is a Sweet 16 predictions set up, and uh, you can read that and find out some of the great insight we have there. And as well as you can scroll down and find some insight into the Major League Baseball, the AL preview as well as the NL preview is up, and you can see the best teams to bet on this season from both league. Also, guys, you can go over to Z Code System, and every day of the Major League Baseball season, you can find the great picks we have there. Of course, we have the VIP wall, the VIP club here, and you can find out the great information. March 28th, like I said, that's the day the season starts. You can find all of these great uh, predictions and picks and the great info there on the wall for the upcoming season every day for 162 games for each team. Now, let's get on to talking about some of the things that are go is going to happen this year in Major League Baseball and some of the stories uh, leading up to this season. And the biggest story really for me was the offseason signing, the free agent signing that the Philadelphia Phillies made of Bryce Harper. He comes from the Washington Nationals. And with that signing, the Phillies really become the best team, well, maybe not only in the East, but in the whole National League. Now, Harper has signed a 13-year, $330 million contract, and he's going to be a fantastic uh, player for the Philadelphia Phillies, who have also made some other key signings in the offseason. Andrew McCutcheon has also arrived there with the Phillies. But, you know, I looked at the projections for Bryce Harper coming into this season, and he's being projected to hit 27 home runs and knock in 87 RBI. So that's a fantastic uh, rate there and addition to the team. And that could be the Philadelphia Phillies, that is. That could be the team to win the pennant there in the National League. And I know there's going to be a lot of people backing them. Uh, so far, the leading sports books have the Phillies at plus 1,000 to win the World Series. Now, the other big offseason signing going into this season was made by the San Diego Padres, who inked Manny Machado to a 10-year, $300 million contract. Uh, another big move there. Uh, Machado played very well for the Dodgers down the stretch last season, helping them make it uh, all the way to the World Series. Um, so big things to happen there with the Padres, but you know, question marks will be around whether or not the Padres have the uh, the pitching and the rest of the team to uh, help Machado get the team into uh, the playoffs this year. Uh, the Padres did not fare too well last year in the Western Division. Uh, and as you look at the old, uh, the old, as I say, the 2018 standings, the Padres did finish dead last in the NL West. The Dodgers taking that, and the Colorado Rockies uh, finishing right behind them. So. A lot to happen this year and a lot to prove there in San Diego as they finished uh, well under 500. Uh, you know, sticking with the NL East, we were talking about the Phillies a second ago. Uh, the East to me is the league or the, sorry, the division in the National League that is the most stacked this season. The Braves, as you can see there, won last year, won the division. 90 wins, fantastic year uh, with the National and the Phillies coming up right behind them. And for me, I thought the Phillies were going to be a little bit better last season. They had, again, two really good off seasons in a row. Uh, but Bryce Harper should push them over the edge, if you will, uh, to be a, a much improved team. As you can see, it was their road record last season that uh, let them down in the end, finishing 10 games behind the Braves. But uh, I think the Phillies are going to be very much improved, and this is going to be the best division in baseball because it's not just the Phillies that have um, – have uh, signed some key players. The Mets went out. Uh, they signed Edwin Diaz. He was the reliever of the year last year in the AL. Uh, they got him from the Minnesota Twins as well as uh, Robinson Cano, who's 36. Maybe some question marks around him and the production he can provide this year in the lineup. Uh, but the Mets are at least trying. Uh, the Mets have also um, inked Jacob deGrom to a contract extension five years, $137.5 million. Uh, the Mets are doing something a little bit different than they have in recent years. Um, they were trying to play a bit of money ball, being a bit tight with the money, pinch some pennies, 
now it seems that they are happy to spend a little bit more and uh, to go after that NL title and the uh, sorry the NL uh, pennant and the uh, World Series. So um, some big things going on in New York. It should be a great summer in New York because let's look over at the AL East where the Yankees last season, 100 wins. They came in, though, right behind the Boston Red Sox who had 108 wins, won the AL pennant, ended up going on to win the World Series. That's going to be the toughest division in the uh, American League. Uh, not necessarily because of these bottom three teams right here, but just because of the Red Sox and the Yankees. They are so strong. Uh, the Red Sox bringing back many of those same players that they had last year, David Price, Mookie Betts, uh, both back for a, another go around. The Red Sox leading sportsbooks have at plus 600 to win the World Series this year. Um, but that is the same mark that the New York Yankees are at right now. Leading sportsbooks have them also at plus 600 to win the World Series. And, you know, a lot is being said about this Yankees team right now. They, uh, they have a stacked lineup, Gene Carlo Stanton there um you know this team hit so many home runs last year led the major leagues in home runs and um perhaps in stanton's second year there a little bit more comfortable playing in the bronx he knows what the fans expect you know they did boo him at times and were not happy with his production at times so he knows now what they need uh what they want and uh, the yankees could be um that world series w uh, representative from the al they should be a good team uh, a lot of people are uh, praising the bullpen that they have there right now. Um, one one uh, media outlet described as a flame-throwing bullpen uh, this season. So should be uh, uh, very exciting in New York. Um, the Red Sox haven't had a great preseason, 12-17 and 17, uh, as they finish up and uh, move north. But, of course, it's just preseason. It's Major League Baseball. It's a marathon, 162 games, which is great for all of us to wager on and to invest in uh, during the year. But 162 games, you can start out poorly and finish, uh, you know, finish strongly. Um, you know, speaking of that, think about the Dodgers last year. I believe it was. Um, they were the second team in the last 20 years to have the worst April yet still make the World Series. So the Dodgers <clears throat> didn't start out very well, but they did in strongly. So that is uh, one of the key notes about the long, uh, grueling season that is Major League Baseball. Uh, just to go over a couple of more of the uh, World Series odds given out so far, the Dodgers are at plus 700 to win the World Series this year. Uh, the Houston Astros, who won it two years ago and is the uh, you know, the best team in the West, and the team that, once the playoffs come around, will challenge the Dodgers, or sorry, excuse me, will challenge the Red Sox and the Yankees for that AL pennant. They are plus 600 uh, right now going into the start of the season. So, you know, very exciting things going on this year and uh, looking forward to this um this year, and I know a lot of betters are as well. Uh, just real quickly, looking at uh, MajorLeagueBaseball.com, and we've got the schedule for tomorrow, Thursday, March 28th, 2019, up. Uh, some great series to start off the season. The Orioles and the Yankees, Mets and Nationals. That's going to be an exciting one. Jacob deGrom going up against Max Scherzer. Uh, very great uh, or very exciting game to start the season there. Um, Cardinals and Brewers, Braves and Phillies, some great division rivals going at it to start the season uh, this year. And if you're an, uh, a National League guy like myself, you're going to really enjoy uh, that Mets, Nationals, and that Cardinals, uh, Brewers, and Braves, Phillies um, games to start off the season. But guys, some great things going on this year in Major League Baseball, as well as great things going on over at Z Code System. Just click on my tab here to go over to the VIP club. Of course, like I said, you can go there. And if I just drop, click on my drop down box, you can see that we have all the games for Thursday, March 28th. And also, you know, days in advance, you can check out the games. But you can see we have the different games here. You can go there. You can find out some great betting information. Uh, you can get, you can post on there. You can leave your own comments. Uh, you can read other users' comments and, and check that out there. And, of course, you can go to the great Z Code system, automated systems, and find out information about uh, all the different games, get some great picks without doing any legwork, and make educated predictions for the sports uh, Major League Baseball season all year long and, uh, you know, hopefully win some great profits betting on Major League Baseball. And as you can see there, I uh, just clicked on the Detroit Tigers-Toronto Blue Jays game, and uh, that might be a little 
uh, prediction for you there. A little free one there. Toronto, eight. Detroit, three. Going to go for that game there. Um, so, guys, again, you can go over to the Z Code System blog. You can go over to the Z Code System blog. You can check out the Major League Baseball AL preview or the NL preview. Or if you want to check out some of the other information that we have there, including the Sweet 16, which is coming up this weekend, you can read about that and uh, all the other sports that we have, whether it be soccer, uh, whether it be uh, NBA, NHL. You can find all that great information there, guys, at Z Code System. Have a great opening baseball day, and we'll see you next week.